Hello again, got a video to give you a bit of help with this exam practice. Okay, so the first thing that you do is have a look through what it's expecting you to do. Uh, it's to do with forces, it's to do with gravity. And it says, if we read through this bit, our interplanetary scientist C4 has sent some electronic cards from her visits to places in our solar system. So there's, that's C4. They changed the name down here in a few minutes to Celine, don't know why. So there's Celine or C4 on the moon with a mass of 10 kilograms and a weight of 11.6 Newtons. Hello from Venus with a mass of 10 kilograms and a weight of 90 Newtons. And on Mercury with a mass of 10 kilograms and a weight of 40 Newtons. So straight away, what you should spot is the mass of C4 or Selene, the mass stays the same, 10 kilograms, 10 kilograms, 10 kilograms. The weight changes, okay? 11 and a half Newtons on the moon, 90 on Venus, 40 on Mercury. So on the moon, lightest, heavier and heaviest. Now that's because the gravity is changing on those objects, okay? So the gravity on the moon is the lowest. Gravity on Mercury is a bit bigger than the moon. And the gravity on Venus is the biggest out of these three. Okay. When C4 left the Earth, she had a mass of 10 kilograms. That never changes, okay? The mass never changes. And on the Earth, had a weight of 100 newtons. Draw a force diagram for C4 standing still on the Earth and on three other places. So, the Earth and three other places. Okay, so that's the first thing that we've got to do. Now, have a read through all of this and mark up on this sheet which ones you think you can do and which ones you think you can't do. Now, this is a picture, so you'll need to uh, add something to this to, to be able to write on it. And you might remember this. What we do is we'll go up here insert and we're going to get a shape and we're going to get a, a rectangle okay and we can put that in there and we'll come up here to the styles we'll change it to this one there's, there's lots of different styles we can use but this one's good because it's easy to read okay and in there we're going to type so Here's the first thing. Can you do this or do you need some help? Draw a diagram of Selene in each place using some force arrows to show the direction of a force acting on her. Well, I think most people will be able to do that. So let's put a yes in. So letter Y, let's uh, move that up a bit. Okay, and then the next one down here, label the arrows with the names of the forces. Well, I think we'd be able to do that. Okay, so put another Y in, right, and we're ready to go. Okay, so now we've got to do some diagrams. Uh, now, I'm going to do this in Word, um, just because this is easier for me to do. Now, you've all got this version of Word. You've got it when you log on to uh, the school's office suite. So, we've got to put... Uh, this creature in four different places okay we've got to put it on the earth moon mercury and venus so the first thing that we're going to do is come up here to insert and we're going to insert it over here a text box take a bit of simple one so i just uh, delete that okay we're going to move it up here there we go. Right. Shorten that a little bit because we don't need a lot of writing in here. And we're going to put for the first one, Earth. Actually, I'll go back a bit. And what I'll do is I'll copy this. Okay. So we'll make a few copies of it. Copy it. And then... Then I'll make a few copies with control V. There's one copy. There's another copy. Let's move that one out of the way. And another copy. Now I did that by hitting control and then V. 
Okay. So I've made four text boxes. Let's move them around. Get this tidy. Okay, that doesn't look too bad. Let's put the names of the places in. Earth. Moon. Mercury. And Venus. Now we've got to make a little diagram of this uh, alien. And if you want to, you can do a really simple one and you can just do a triangle. So you can go up here and you can go insert and then a shape. And there is a triangle, pick out a triangle. And there we go. Now we're gonna to have to put some things inside this. So we'll need it clear. So we'll clear it by choosing it up there. And now what I need to do is need to copy this. Okay, because we need four of them. And it's easier to do it this way. It's easier to copy it than it is to draw four of them. So copy, and then I'll click over here and I'll do control V to make another one. And then control V for another one. And then control V and let's move these around. Okay, and that doesn't look too bad. Now we'll need to put a line in uh, to show where the ground is. So that's just shapes and a straight line. And we'll put it right across here. Okay, and That looks quite good. So let's move these down to our ground level. Okay, and they all look quite good. Now, the first thing that we have to do is we have to use some force arrows on the diagram to show the direction of a force acting on her and label the arrows with the name of the forces. So if we roll down and there is Celine. Now there, where Celine is uh, sitting on the floor, there is a force pulling Celine down. And that force is gravity, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna insert an arrow, go to our shapes. Uh, we've used this one before line arrow now we've got to get it right on that line and down now don't forget the gravity is biggest on the earth so this arrow should be the biggest for the earth okay the next one is the moon so insert and shapes arrow okay put it on the line straight down now the gravity on the moon is the smallest so that looks about right we're going to pick up the arrow again and the next one that we're going to do uh, just check okay is mercury mercury is bigger than the moon but it's less than venus okay so about there looks okay and again, uh, insert, shape, arrow. And this one is for Venus and Venus is the, a bigger one again. And I know these are a bit uh, wonky, but don't worry, you get the idea. Okay, so we've drawn a force acting on Celine. And the force is gravity. Have we missed anything? Well, let's look back. Label the arrows with the name of the forces. Okay. So what we'll need to do in here is we'll need to put in gravity, 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 gravity. Now the easiest way to do that is with a text box. So let's 
insert, go over here, text box. We're just going to use the basic one. Ugh, it keeps doing that. Okay, uh, and we're going to shrink that a bit because we don't need too much. Let's make a copy of it. Okay, copy. And do it differently this time. We'll do paste and then paste and then no let's do control v okay so we've got four text boxes we'll put them uh, that should do Okay, and for each one of these we're going to put in gravity. Now somebody will probably tell me that I should have put gravity in there in the first place. And then I could have copied that box three times. Okay, so let's have a look, see if we've done this. Drawing a diagram of Selene in each place, we've done that. Use some force arrows to show the direction of a force acting on her. Okay, well on each one, there's a force arrow, and it shows you the direction. They're all down. So we've done that. Label the arrows with the name of the forces. Okay, yep, we've done all of those. Okay. And... That's to get you started. See how far you can go with that. Give me an email if you want any more help with it. I might post another video of this later on today.